this camera right here can become a very high quality webcam. You can use it with your favorite streaming applications like OBS, Zoom, FaceTime, and streaming in general. So if you're wondering how to set it up and what are the steps required to do that, then this video is for you. Hi everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jorge. On this channel, we talk about photography and filmmaking. We merge creativity and productivity to live a fulfilling life. And in this video, we're talking about the Sony ZV-1, how we're gonna set it up as a webcam for live streaming and video conferencing as well. Before we start, I have made a couple of videos about this camera, a general video overview of the camera, and also an in-depth guide on how to set it up and how to update the firmware to the latest version, which in this case is needed to be able to use it as a webcam. So if you're unsure about your firmware and how to update it, go check those videos out first. I'm considering the idea of doing a couple live streams here on YouTube, doing a couple streams and answering some questions and just having fun in general. If that's something you'd like to see, share a comment down below. That being said, the process of learning about streaming and researching more about it led me down the path or the rabbit hole of settings and menus and things to do with the camera. So I'm simplifying everything I've learned and making a short video regarding everything you need to know about the ZV-1 if you want to use it as a webcam or live stream with it. Let's get started. This whole process requires the firmware version to be at 2.01. Before we jump in into the camera settings, we have to make sure that we have the latest firmware installed and the Sony Imaging Edge software installed as well. Head down to the link provided in the description of the video and click download. Before we continue, make sure you're using any of the following operating systems here, but then scroll down and select the correct camera. In this case, the Sony ZV-1. Then select your current OS, in my case, I'm using macOS, so click that and download the installation file. Next, install the file. This section is very straightforward. Just install the downloaded file. Just click next and agree all the way. And when it's done, it will prompt you to restart your computer. Go ahead and do that and you're done. I'm not going to talk about video quality settings. I already explained that in detail in my setup video. So, the first thing we need to do is head to the Network tab, page number 1. Scroll down to the Control with Smartphone setting. Make sure it's set to Off or Disable. Next, scroll down to the PC Remote function. Make sure that setting is On or Enabled. Last but not least, head over to the Movie tab, page number 4, and scroll down to the USB streaming setting. Enter that and enable it. Now that the setting is enabled, you can connect the camera to your computer with a provided USB cable. Now we can move on. In this example, I'll be using the ZV-1 as my webcam and my Rode VideoMic NTG as my microphone. All we have to do now is just plug them via USB to your computer. Let's start with OBS. In this case, I can create a new scene. Let's name it Sony. And in the Sources menu, I'll add a video capture device. Let's name it ZV-1. Hit OK and then choose the correct device. After that, it will give you the option to choose the resolution. The webcam function is limited to 720p, so that is the highest resolution that we can select. Hit OK and you should be good to go. We're going to add another device in the Sources menu, but this time an audio input capture. Name it what you want. In this case, it's my Rode NTG. Hit OK. Now in this window, select the proper audio device and hit OK. Now we have the microphone right here in real time. And you can adjust the values here or manually in the actual microphone as well. Just a quick tip. If you see the correct options listed here, but when you select it, nothing happens, meaning you get a black screen, then all you have to do is, number one, check that the webcam mode is actually enabled looks like this. And number two, go to your system preferences and then security and privacy and just make sure that you're giving permission to OBS in the camera tab, the microphone tab, and the screen capture tab as well. Now, moving on to FaceTime. All right, I'm using an empty account just to show you what it looks like. In here, you would have your contacts. By default, the application uses your webcam. What we have to do is go to the video tab right here and then change the input. In this case, you'll see ZV-1. And as you can see, that is a drastic and significant change in video quality. 
The important thing to keep in mind is that the camera does not transmit audio. Select the proper audio device. In this case, it's my Rode NTG. All right, now moving on to Zoom. We're gonna open the Zoom application and the good thing is I don't even have to log in or anything. I can go right here to the top bar and select Preferences. And here we have a General tab, then we have the Video tab. As you can see by default, the camera is gonna be the MacBook Pro built-in camera, but in here, you can change it. Once you select it, you can see that you have, again, a significant change in image quality and you have extra options like mirror your video and adjustments for low light and things like that. Keep in mind that this is using whatever picture profile you have enabled, so you can adjust it if you want. Next, we go to the audio tab. As you can see, by default, it's going to be the microphone and it's going to be the speakers from the actual MacBook. However, we can change this. In the microphone section, we're going to select a Rode VideoMic NTG. And then we can change, adjust the volume here, the values. You can test the volume, you can test the mic and fine tune it and choose the levels that works best for you. And that is how you can have professional video quality and audio for your Zoom calls, for your FaceTime, recording and streaming with OBS as well. So that is how you can set up the Sony ZV-1 as a high quality web camera that you can use for streaming, live conferencing and video calls as well. As always, I am curious to know what do you think? Are you interested in streaming? Would you like to see some streams from this channel? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and join my free newsletter as well. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy and good luck with your creative process.